Today we're going to be learning about Piet Mondrian. He was a Dutch artist from the Netherlands, and he liked to uh, create art that was abstract. He liked the three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue, and black and white. So we're going to get started on our project. You will need a ruler, uh, the three primary color markers, or if you want to use crayons or colored pencils, that's fine. So you're going to use yellow, red, and blue, and then a black marker. Okay. I'm going to take a white piece of paper right here, and we're going to draw a turtle, a sea turtle. So I'm going to take the black marker. If you would like to draw it with pencil first, that's fine. And I'm going to use black so that you can see it well from the video. So I'm just going to trace around. I'm going to make an oval like the shape of uh, your face that's going to be the shape of the turtle's shell or back. It's kind of an oval. Down here at the smaller part of the oval, I'm going to add a little tail and the back legs. And then up here at the front are the flippers. And the head. I'm going to take that and blend that so that that's all the same width. Okay, next step, I'm going to take a ruler and I'm just going to draw lines that go up and down or vertical with my turtle. So with the, the head to the tail, they're going to be vertical. All right. I don't need to worry about if they're spaced out appropriately or the same. I'm just drawing lines. They can be various widths with the spaces in between. Okay, I have some vertical lines there. Now I'm going to draw some horizontal lines. I'm going to mix it up in that section. I'll put one right there. And then this section, I might put one there and over here. And just keep adding horizontal lines. I'll go ahead and bring one right there and right there. And so they're all staggered. They're just placed at different random places. Okay. I'm also going to add some on the flippers. I'll put one vertical one here and one on this side. They don't have to be the same. I'll add a horizontal line here and one right there. Okay, just a couple of lines on the head to continue my design. And on the feet, I'm still basically going vertical and horizontal. No diagonal lines on this project. Okay, so there's our turtle. The next step I'll be coloring with my three primary colors. I'm going to start off with my yellow first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in some spaces with yellow. And then I'll fill in some spaces with red and blue. But I also want to leave some white spaces. I'm going to continue coloring here. With the markers, if you're using markers, it might be a good idea to go over them two times so that your color all blends the same value. I could add a blue one over here and just randomly put the space out the colors. I'll try some red. I'm going to go over it twice just so it'll fill in and then I'll just keep going. This is my turtle when I'm finished. So notice how I left some white spaces. The turtle, I have red 
spaced out around the turtle and yellow spaced out. Good luck if you'd like to uh, draw a different type of animal like a shark or a dolphin. Feel free. Good luck on your turtle.